Welcome to today's lesson, which is going to cover the question, what is science? Science is a way of knowing. Science is ever-changing, and it's a way of looking at the natural world. Think about back in Galileo's time when they believed that the Earth was the center of the universe. Now, we have other information, we've covered more information, done more research, and discovered that the sun is now the center of at least our solar system. Now, science is evidence-based, okay? We deal only with the natural world in our evidence, and in doing that, we collect data, we do research, we run investigations, and through the scientific method are able to discover, yes, my hypothesis was accepted, no, my hypothesis was rejected, and I need to look at something else. We do not deal with supernatural phenomena in science. And science deals strictly with the natural world, not saying that anything supernatural is not there, but we aren't able to test it. Science is testable, okay? It's a way of knowing and it's evidence-based. If we cannot collect the evidence, it cannot be science doesn't mean it's not true, it just means we cannot call, recall it into the scientific realm. Science is also dealing with the method, the scientific method, and a way of doing things. So, again, it's a way of knowing, it's also a way of doing things. We follow the scientific method, where the steps kind of are interchanging sometimes, to help us understand and to help other scientists be able to understand what it is that we're doing also. We begin the scientific method all the time with observations. You discover something in the natural world that you just have one more question about, something that you just don't understand. So what you do is through those observations, you then discover a problem or a question. I want to know more about this. How does this actually work? So through my observations, I discover a problem or a question. Now, from my observations, I can also come up with what's called inferences. And the inferences take those observations and take things that I, that I know to be true or um, other things and come up with a reasonable explanation for things. And through those observations and inferences and my prior knowledge, I'm then able to just come up with a hypothesis, an educated guess to what the answer to my problem or question might be. I then develop an experiment that will be able to test my hypothesis. For the most part in science, we use what are called controlled experiments. Controlled experiments use two different variables. We have an independent variable and a dependent variable. The independent variable is what I, as the scientist, change. So when I'm collecting my data, I change one thing in my different setups. My dependent variable is the one, th are the, is the one thing that changes because I changed my independent variable. So it's that thing that I'm measuring at the end of the experiment, okay? Now, all of these different setups that I make, where I change my independent variable, are called different groups. One of those groups is considered a control group. And that control group is the one that is the natural environment or the piece where I don't, that I'm gonna compare everything to. So it's the one experimental setup that I'm gonna compare everything else to and see what the changes were. Throughout my experiment, I then collect data, make observations, and do other, um, set up my data tables and all of that. All of that information I collect is called data. I then use my data to try to figure out some in interpretation of what does this data actually mean in relationship to my hypothesis. I interpret that data, I analyze it, I figure out what does it mean in relationship to my hypothesis, and then I either support or do not support my hypothesis. If I do not support my hypothesis, the method starts over. 
I create a new hypothesis. It's based on this same question, but I create a new hypothesis. My new experiment is then developed based on this new hypothesis. My new data and observations come into play, and then I come up with an interpretation again. A new interpretation based on all this new information. One big cycle. Again, my interpretation was my new hypothesis, supported or not supported, and I can either run through the cycle again, or if it was supported, I'm good to go. So, science. What is it? It's a way of knowing, it deals with the natural world, and it's also a process, something we're going to be doing a lot of in science this year.